dad knew I was a huge wrestling fan. So the local company, local independent company came up to my dad and said, Hey, like, can we run a show in your back parking lot? And he said, as long as my kid can get in the ring. Uh, and yeah, so I was eight years old and I got to get in the ring before the show. And I guess that shows you how, I guess, professional this company was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the athletic commission in Ohio is kind of a joke. It is, but I, w- I do remember particularly my mom made me, of course, a wrestling outfit. Um, and uh, my name was Jag, uh, John Anthony Gargano, for those that, that do not know. Uh, and I had my, my friend who I used to wrestle with, I guess. His name was Punk, before the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, probably not. I don't know, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> might have been the OG. Uh, uh, I mean, Punk is not exactly the Dup most Punk. creative I name. I think it might have been Punk. I don't know what he was. Kind of like, uh, you know, Psycho or but he had like a But he had like a Phantom of the Opera mask, though, so I, don't really, I didn't okay. really know what he was going for. Uh, I, my character was way more defined. Jag was a way more defined character, I think. You just, you How so? Yeah, I mean, Italian Stallion Jag. You, know, uh-huh. you know what you're getting when you see <laughs> You see him. What exactly were he's they coming getting? at you? He's fueled, what was the character? Fueled by cheese ravioli and pizza. <laughs> you should treat yep, your favorite fueled. drink at the time. He's ready to rip. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, like, they, I guess the show was running late or something. I don't really know. So, they needed a pre-show match. Okay. So, they said, hey, little eight-year-old Johnny Gargano and your friend, get out there and put a match on. Never been trained. Sure. Uh, never stepped in a ring before. But we got out there and we freaking electrified those people. Did you? They were on their feet. Well, what kind of moves did you hit in this? And this is your debut match. Debut match. Big moment. Yeah. Just, I mean, you name it, I probably hit it. But <laughs> I, 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 do, <laughs> I probably invented some stuff along the way. But, okay. Uh, so you're wrestling for the CWA as an eight-year-old child. Yeah. How many matches do you think you had for the CWA before you became, uh, I guess, technically a pro? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. I mean, I got in the ring a few times. Me and Punk had quite the uh, trilogy of matches behind my dad's catering company. <laughs> Basically, there was a, if there was a Halloween show, I think later on in the year. Like, I think that show was in like August. <laughs> a Halloween show in August? And no, that show was in August. Okay, and then the okay. second show after that was in October. Okay. And I was really bummed out because it rained that day. So I was really afraid the show was going to get rained out because okay. obviously it's in a back parking lot. Sure. Uh, but I wrestled Punk again, and I put him in a figure four and broke his leg. For, for real. For real, bro. Because I was leg. not trained. Uh, I was eight years old. Well, come on. Wow. I'm also dangerous. Very dangerous. Look, you mess with Jag, you get the horns. You had a lot of calzones that yeah. day. No, I didn't eat calzones. <laughs> I was instead of cheese ravioli. All right. Uh, pizza. Pizza Tahitian for sure. treat. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so I broke his leg. 